Paul McCartney here coming at you with a fucking update it's been a month I ain't made a video someone asked for it I said brother we need an update and here it fucking is I ain't really gonna fucking go on about my situation too much all I do want to talk about is my weird situation yeah it ain't good man I've had to resort to buying 10 bits off a Romanian geezer Sometimes I'm buying crumbs off the geezer. He does him two for ten, yeah? I get two for ten on the crumbs. But, you know what, yeah? Life's a bitch, man. It has a funny way of switching the roles on you. Once upon a time, I supplied the Romanians. Now, I rely on the Romanians to supply me. I'll show you what we've been smoking. These little, lovely tin foil, ten pound wraps, yeah? I mean, you can either take this, let me show you inside it, what we got today. I don't I don't get a name of what the flower is either, he just fucking, just says it's weird. I believe him. So this is what we're rocking with today, yeah. Some nice, some nice stuff. Got a nice little colouration to it, nice and dry. The only fucking problem is, you get a this and a this in your deal. And uh I ain't no mathematician, but I know when you add this and this and you divide them, that don't equal two. That don't equal two joints, mate. That's fucking one and a half joints. My tin foil. Shit. The wrapper's gone now anyway, so you see my point, yeah? I'd rather fucking spend ten pound on a joint that tastes good than smoke fucking a tobacco stick that tastes like shit and don't get me stoned. It's a predicament bro, but like, as you can imagine, it ain't very economical. It ain't very economical at all, smoking £10 a joint, mate. You know, especially coming where I come from, bro. You know what I mean, this is just standard joint. You reach in the bag, you grab a bit out, and you skin it up. And that's it. But nah. I'll be honest, if the camera weren't on me, this would have been probably put in two. And we'd have stretched it out or whatever. But it is what it is. Hard times, man. You just gotta fucking adapt, ain't ya? Which I'll form a roach. This is a new spot as well. I ain't, I ain't never been here before. Just fucking strolled past it the other day. Let me just show you what we're fucking. That's me bottom laid up. That's pretty hench, like. Obviously, I do half the amount on the top, so I chill out on it. I was gonna set you up here on the table and do a little fucking joint rolly fucking tutorial experience thing here, but it's windy man so I've had to fucking sit you down here. Watch man crumble that bud in. Oh big up Romania for this one yeah. Some good doji. I mean don't worry about the crumbs bro we can move on from that shit we'll forget about that. Just keep this keep this shit coming. And we're gonna be fucking good friends, you know what I mean? Says this topic, what I wanted to talk about, fucking um, geezers, barefaced in UK, just barefaced selling cannabis on Instagram, yeah. And it's making me fucking well jealous, bro. I'm telling you, because obviously I used to be involved in all that business. I used to be swimming in ganja. Now, I have to watch me. Well, he ain't my pal, the geezer. Shout out to the geezer. Even though he's a tosser and he won't fucking send me no weed. He needs to know you or, or fuck you saying some shit about looking after his regulars first, which I can understand, yeah, whatever. But still, I'm fucking smoking crumbs off Romanians where well, you've got the Cali Cup fucking American imports and shit. And I'm just looking at your story thinking. What a tosser. He could supply me with some nice ganja, but he ain't gonna. But still respect the geezer for sitting there selling weed on Instagram. Just like bare face, no, no fucks given. Because you know what, if everyone was like him and had the balls that he had, I ain't gonna say his name or tag him or nothing. Because even though he's already grassing himself up on the internet, I ain't going to be the one to fucking spell it out for you. Like, but there's a lot of people doing it. He's the only one I've got on my friends list, but I know there's other people doing it. 
And he's a marketing genius as well. From what I'm guessing, he's probably shifting about two or three ounces a day. And he, he gets like five ounces shipped to him. And then he films it. So like, yeah, just got the fresh pack, just reloaded. Fucking... And then he'll do a video where he skins up a fathead. Because he sits in his garden, smokes it, and just shows how oily the joint is. And he's always showing what food he's eating. He's always got edibles, mandan shoes, and fucking all this and that. Bro's got links, yeah. Fair play to him. I mean, I ain't trying to come in with... Because I ain't got connections for this Cali shit. I ain't fucking sure where he's getting it. Whether he's fucking getting it off the internet, or knows a geezer who knows a geezer, or what. I don't fucking know. Really, we should all just fucking say, fuck it. I'm going to start selling ganja and just doing what this geezer does. Because if everyone just did it at the same time, there's nothing they could say about it. And especially, like, you know, 420's just gone. We just lost Black the Ripper. Black the Ripper fucking heavy on the movement, trying to fucking, you know what I mean, normalise ganja, whatever. We should do it off the back of him. After, you know what I mean, on the back of his death, say, this is what we want to fucking honour this geezer's name. We're gonna fucking start selling dope, barefaced, not giving a fuck. You know what I mean? So fucking shout out to my G, shout out to my IGGs selling ganja. Man, other than that, fucking that's all I really got to say about that. Yeah, but just hoping that you're all doing well, fucking staying healthy, staying away from them contaminated folks. You know what I mean? It's weird times we're living in. You just gotta fucking hope that everything returns to its normal self. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's a bit weird, the shit that's going on. I ain't really gonna get into all that, you know what I mean? It's gonna be shit, it's gonna be shit. If it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. All that I'm concerned about is uh, making sure that the future is filled with bud. If it's gonna be shit, it's gonna be shit. If it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. All I wanna know is that it's filled with bud. Legal bud, bro. Oh! Buying 10 bits, yeah. I want to buy ants or some premium canter shit like they're doing in California, but you can go get yourself an ant for fucking $200, $160 out there, and it's better than any shit around here, man. They'll buy it cheap out there and ship it in and sell it for 300 at ants. And they have got it down to a science, though, bro. The way they grow dope out there in California, man. Can't fucking stomach another year smoking amnesia and fucking star dog, mate. I just want it to end. You know what, yeah, fuck it. I'm selling ganja online. I'm I'm doing it for the team. Yeah. If I have to go to prison, so that people down the line can be smoking pucker dope, then that's what I'll do. But I mean, I'd rather not come to that, and uh, I'd rather other people be the one to fucking make the move first and do it, so I don't have to. Yeah, but no fucker seems to be doing it other than the couple fucking youths on fucking Instagram. Yeah, they need some help, bro. Because everyone, if everyone had the balls like they had, then Ganja would be a completely different thing, man. Right, I said my piece. I'm gonna fucking pause ya, and I'll come back when I'm a bit further down my joint. I might cook up a little cough. I don't know. I'll let you know. We'll see. <coughs> I didn't even try to cook this cough up. This is a natural, tasty cough, bro. Smooth on the throat. Bless the Romanians for this. I don't know what you're doing, yeah, but just keep doing what you're doing, Mr. Weed Man. <coughs> this shit gonna start making me cry. <coughs> Do yourself a nice big joint, man. Don't fucking waste that beautiful cannabis. And that's my phone. And dilute it down with that backy mixture, mate, because you're just fucking. you're ruining your day, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, even roll up a joint like this. Smoke it halfway down and then go spark it back up later if you got to, bro. If you're trying to fuck in, you know what I mean, be hecking on it. And the reason why I'm only buying 10 bags is because this has only just come about. We've been having shit bud for the last like five, six times before it's been crumbs or fucking some shit that don't taste that nice. Put that hood up, man, it's a little bit breezy. Hide them locks away as well. See, a joint like this, my friend. Keep it lit. Oh gosh. <coughs> Let's 
tasty, man. <coughs> Oily goodness. <coughs> yeah, if you roll up a skinny 0.5 joint, you have to put less back in. It ends up being a skinny little thing, doesn't it? It's a little bit breezy on a day like today. What you end up tasting is paper, yeah. I'm not about that A4 paper life, bro. I fucking, I don't see how people can smoke shit if it tastes horrible. If I roll a joint and it tastes shit, I'm flicking it. Because I ain't smoking to get stoned. I smoke for the taste. Obviously the stoneness, that's the after effect. I like sativas, mate. I like a nice little head high. I don't want to get too fucking stoned and that. But yeah, I was talking to a geezer yesterday. I was sat on the step and he's sat next to me for some reason. Fair play to him. He seen me smoking. He's like, fuck it. I'm going to smoke. So, I was like, oh, 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 fucking no problem. He, he kept his distance and that, he maintained the six feet. And I got talking to him and he said that he used to smoke spice, bro, like four years ago. And he quit. You won't think it to be fair, he was a bit jittery, but I just thought he had ADHD or something. Yeah. And then, he said that in one night, one time, he went through 14 grams of spice. And I just think that. Like, Smoking 14 gram of bud in one day, pure, is gonna hurt your throat then. You're smoking 14 gram of spice, man. Oh, fucking, how is your throat? And he said he couldn't remember how it felt, obviously, because you're out of it past the point, ain't you? But that shit's crazy, man. See videos of that geezer in a prison, has a few fat totes on a mamba spliff to start croaks down. Dead. Mamba kill you, bro. Kid tried offering it me one time. I was like, fuck off, bro, I ain't smoking that shit. It smelled like, it was smoking it in front of me. It smelled like um, a fish. Oh uh, yeah, because I said this to that geese yesterday, and he said apparently that's what it is. It's made out of fish tranquilizer. But yeah, this same kid, the twat, I ain't gonna name a shame. Let's get that bit. Yeah, the twat, fucking, he was with a girl, and he's chilling with her neighbor, and he'd give it to her neighbor, and he told him that it was a joint, cannabis, and it was spice. He had to have a fucking ambulance called out. What a dickhead, man. He never got fucking nothing. Come off that, are they? I mean, if I was that geezer and that kid done that to me. I'm t well, I ain't even gonna say that. People sound like dickheads when they talk all that rah rah shit alone, but could you imagine, like, what the fuck was you thinking, bro, doing that to someone? It's about 40 odd as well. You give him a heart attack, fucking. Some kids, bro, they're just dumb, ain't they? That's all it is, this kid, he ain't like malicious or nothing. He's just a dumb cunt, bro. <laughs> but yeah. You get them, don't you, man? Right, voice for that. That's the update. Hope you're all well. Don't want to hear about that fucking situation shit. Don't fucking, don't talk to me about it. It's almost over. The sun will be shining soon. I hope, hopefully by the time it's June, we'll fucking cush the air. Maybe not. But you know what, yeah, this puts things into perspective, mate. We're living slightly oppressed now, yeah, but it's nothing. You know what I mean? I've got Jewish blood. My ancestors, mate, they've been through fucking so much more worse than this. You know what I mean? It's fucking it's just a little, just a little fucking lockdown, bro, isn't it? Just got to smoke 10 bags and spend all your savings and shit. But other than that, who cares, bro? You're good. You're blessed, yeah. Stay blessed, not stressed. Who keyed me Nan's car? No guess. <laughs> yes.